Okay, this one's a little bit different, everybody. Um, I've had a bit of trouble sleeping recently. I keep waking up with a bit of a crick neck and waking up in the middle of the night, not able to get back to sleep. And I'm just wondering if there's something more to it and some way technology can help me. So I have found a piece of technology that I think is gonna help me. So this is by a company called Simba. I did a lot of research. Uh, I checked out all the reviews. Globally, this company seems to be doing massive things with um, space technology and cooling technology from the mattress to the duvet cover to the pillows themselves. So this is not just your normal pillow. It's an expensive pillow. It's 99 pounds, UK pounds, uh, as I say, from a company called Simba. I mean, it says here, custom comfort, always keep your ideal height and firmness by topping up or taking out the specially designed feel. Now this is the very latest one with what's got they call Stratos. It allows you to take part, um, these small cubes out and it allows you to put more in if you want to. So you can raise and lower the height of it. So I'm hoping that that's really gonna help me so I'll be able to have the perfect height uh, for, my, for how I sleep. And they, they talk about whether you're a side sleeper or a back sleeper or a front sleeper. I think I'm a front sleeper, but then I end up turning around in the night. So I might be a side, I might be a front, I'm probably a back for a while. But uh, the proof is gonna be in the pudding and when I wake up in the morning, I will immediately know. And you will see that on this video. So um, you can change the firmness, you can change the height. Uh, it says it's space inspired fabric. So technology absorbs, stores and releases body heat to keep you at the perfect temperature because I do tend to get very hot. Um, on mine, I end up switching my pillow over in the middle of the night or even changing it out for a different one because I usually have two pillows. Um, and then cool innovation. So it says the soft hypoallergenic fiber fill is packed with semiconducting minerals that move warm air away from you. So it also, if you get too hot, it keeps you cool. And if you get too cool, it, it helps you stay, stay warm. So without further ado, let's open this up and see what we get inside. Not just your average one, I'm hoping. Not for this money, anyway. Okay, so there's no instructions or anything in the box. I guess it's pretty self-explanatory. So, that's the box. This is the pillow. It's quite heavy for a pillow. So, so it comes with a small bag. Now, from what I've researched already, this bag just allows you to store the parts that you take out, the small cubes. Uh, in the previous version of this pillow, which was, this has only changed to this version in the last few months, they had uh, small tubes rather than small cubes. So I'm assuming they do a similar thing, but they, it's been improved upon. So what does this say? Yeah. All night long cooling, uh, heat dissipation, restful sleep, lasting refreshness, machine washable. Eight hours all night cooling, okay. Okay, so this is kind of, hold on. I don't know, it feels quite solid, quite firm. This, this, is, this is very much cooler on this side. It's a different fabric from this side. This is more of a, you can probably hear that slightly more coarse and this is definitely smoother probably that side I would imagine I will sleep on now these are supposedly air this is so the air can get in and out so it keeps it cool and I think on one side yeah there's a zip okay so let's take this back this wow let's just have a look in here first I mean that's a standard Fairly standard looking pillow, although it does, as I say, have different fabrics at each side. In here is a whole bag of these cubes, which I'm guessing they're kind of memory foam. And it said on the instructions, wow. I mean, I don't know if that's memory foam. They're easily squishable. They're quite small. Um, 
I it said to take out you can take out between six and twelve handfuls so let's just take a handful and put them in the bag well it's definitely not going to take more than six that's six handfuls and they're all now in there but I guess at least I can keep them and they'll be safe so I'll keep that to one side and put these ones back in and hope that that's because I don't like sleeping too high on a pillow I hope I have to give me a bit of a shake that that is gonna lock. I don't know we'll see I'll stick this back in here it just slips straight back in no problem it's definitely different and I'm hoping it's going to be a miracle worker. From what I can read from the reviews, it's supposed to be extremely good, but we will know in the morning. So I will report back once I've done the test and see whether I've got a good night's sleep or not. That's it for this half. Come back in a moment for the second half. I'm not convinced yet. So I slept on it last night and I found out that the noisy side, which I, which is that side, has this Stratos feature, which is uh, the feature which is out of Spaceman's suits or it's come from that kind of design uh, in the technology and the fabric itself. And that side of it worked really well. That was, it kept me cool, it kept me um, from sweating. It, I wasn't tossing and turning because of that or changing the pillow out. So that side of it, the heat side of it, brilliant. The thickness side of it for me, I think is too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out some more of the cubes, these micro cubes, uh, because just taking out six of those is, is really, really still too high for me. In fact, you know what? That is probably enough for me normally. So that kind of thinness. So I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna take more of these out and then we'll come back after tonight's sleep and I will tell you how this went because so far the jury is out. Okay people that was the end of night two and as you saw I took out oh, it, it felt like half of the cubes it probably wasn't half but uh, it was a lot and it's a lot flatter than it was when it first arrived. I'll give you a comparison to show you. But yeah, for me, that's, the, that's my natural height. And I've woken up this morning with no neck ache. Um, it was comfortable. I didn't sweat. Uh, I slept on the, the Stratos side or whatever it's called, so the space inspired side. And it always feels slightly rubbery, this. But anyway, I'm gonna try the other side as well. But so far, I haven't been hot, I haven't been cold. It's been perfectly temperature wise. It's the nice height now. Uh, I guess the proof is going to be in, in you know, the next days to come and weeks to come and see how I get on with it. I might adjust it, maybe some fine adjustments with the cubes, but actually it's all right. So yeah, it's a hundred quid. It's a lot of money. Uh, something to bear in mind is, I mean, I used to have two pillows, but and in the morning when I sit up and I, I might read a book or have the phone, just tech, uh, checking the news and things like that, then you might want to have another pillow just to back up, just to prop you up at the back. But as a, as a single pillow, this one works perfectly well. The, the jury is out and uh, I will let you know if things change and my thoughts on it in maybe one month or two months or three months. But yeah, feel free to comment below. Uh, I'd love it if you could like and subscribe. Uh, it would mean a lot and it will help me get to that 1000, which is my target of subscribers. At the moment, I've only got 54. So anyway, that's it for this one. I'll see you again soon. See ya.